Hello everyone and welcome back to the Marvel's fantastic, the awe-inspiring SV Studios YouTube channel. Today I am going to be covering some basic scripts that can really improve your map and make it a lot more fun to play through. So, the first, uh, I am going to jump right into things and the first script I am going to be covering is Regeneration for the player. So, this is a very simple script to do. Um, this is the player character over here. It is my Ancient Warfare 3 character, just for purposes of testing. So if I go into global scripts here, and you can just ignore that, and I can label the script Regeneration. And all this is, is start, and then you start an endless loop, which runs every, um, I think, uh, two, one or two seconds is a good time. So I'll go with 1.5, which is right in between. So every 1.5 seconds, we will heal. Let's just connect this up quickly. Alright. And the health over here should be the player character. So I click this reference and I select this. And if you are a little confused about if you selected the player or not, it should show up right here. Um, if you selected the player, it will uh, say right here. If that doesn't show up, it means you've selected something uh, different. And float can be um, five to ten is the is a good number. Five or ten. This is the first script I'm going to be covering, so I'll just quickly save this, and then I'll show it off. So you can see I'm at full health right now, but I have over here a few buttons. So damage player. And you can see I got damaged, but I'm regenerating my health. You can see it's going from 9, 65, 70, and all of that. So, you can see the regeneration script is working. And I think this is one of the most vital scripts. So, if, this, if there's one thing you should take away from this video, it's add regeneration to your maps. But otherwise, it's just a, it can become really annoying. If you, get, if, you get, if you barely survive a battle and have no way to heal, it just dooms the map for you and makes it very stressful, which is not something you want. Alright, so the second script we're going to be covering is a, is a return fire script. So what this will do is, when an enemy is damaged, or when any unit is damaged, if the unit that damaged it is of the opposite team, it will set its target to that unit, which means you can't just snipe units from afar without them reacting. Return fire. And this is also a fairly simple script, and this is also one of the most vital scripts. On damage global. And then what we want to do is, we want to get type of both of the units. So, got type here. And then I can copy this and do it from the unit which is damaged. And then, not equals to. So if these two are not of the same type, so this part is necessary to make sure that if you accidentally damage one of your friends, um, they should not set that down with you. That doesn't make sense. So if they are not, if they are not the same, then we simply set target. And that should be all. And then let's just quickly test this out with our friendly test subject over there. So you can see he's out of our range right now, but if I shoot him, he's walking towards me so that he can start shooting at me. So yeah, that's one of the most useful scripts. And now let me just quickly check my list because um, I have quite a few things to get through. Um, yes, damage vignette. So this is an indicator for when the player is damaged. So in the base game, when you are damaged, you get a little black uh, black colors around the sides and you have a damage sound. Um, but that's not extremely obvious and having a custom one is always useful. So let's label this damage indicator. So health on damage, not on damage global, on damage when the player is damaged 
what you want to do is vignette um usually the best color to go for is red but you can go with whatever you want of course um so let's go with 100 0 and 0 that's a nice dark red with a little more blood red and not the bright red you would get if you set it to 255 intensity don't make this too intense otherwise it just becomes becomes a pain to use so 0. Point, 0. 0.5 is a good number i think and then you don't want this vignette to stay forever so what you want to do is have a delay have a delay of um let's two seconds or whatever you want but two seconds is a good time and then vignette again uh, the color doesn't matter here all you need to do the thing you need to do here is set the intensity to zero so i'll just do that this a bit and then I'll save and then I'll show it off all right so we're not going to use our friend over there what we're going to use is this button I have prepared uh, damage player and you can see I have that red vignette but then it goes away after a while and uh, you should see when this fellow shoots me it happens as well He's missing all his shots, but there you are. And that's the damage vignette. And now next on our list is the kill is a kill notification. Basically, it displays a little uh, piece of text when you kill an enemy. Um, this is not necessary for your maps. It is only for certain types of maps. Um, this is best for arcade maps, arcade type maps, which I believe uh, have had a resurgence in recent months. So, kill notification. And this is one of the simpler scripts on on death if I can spell on death global if the unit who shot is player if this is true then what you want to happen is info node you can also do custom infos but those are a lot more complicated and i think the regular info node does the job just fine string um this doesn't matter this is up to you i'm just going to give an example color equals to red size equals to 20 or let's do size equals to 30 because we want this to be major and bold you killed an enemy and you can have this last for two seconds the duration should be about two two three and we can test that out by shooting our friendly test subject here Uh, I, if you heard a sound that was me messing with my mic so when I kill him you killed an enemy see you get that notification so that's really cool for arcade style maps um, it might not fit in all maps but I think arcade maps for arcade maps it's good and now next on the list we have battle actions so this is a very common script basically it makes units uh, crouch I'm not going to do uh, make the units lie down because I don't think that fits in close quarters environments like this so i'll label this battle actions on damage global get position and we want to do this for both the unit that was damaged and the unit who damaged it so get position and i can just copy this and unit from if I can connect it and yes so distance we want to find the distance between the two positions 
and if this distance is smaller than the number doesn't really the really depends but I'm going to go with 35 for an example smaller equal than and since this is a float we need to use a float node um, let's do 50 this is obviously you can change this if true we need a random integer and you can set the um, I think 1 to 10 is a good range so int first one should be 1 second one should be 10 so if this result is larger or equal than um, let's say 5 so there's half it's half chance it's a 50% chance now I hope you're not hearing any background noise if you do I apologize so let's make this 5 if true now I just connect this quickly if true set guard behavior and um, the unit should be the unit was damaged of course so we can get that from all the way over here and pose should be crouch and you can change this to lie if it's really far away and then uh, we don't want him to be crouching forever so after that you can have a delay of um, let's say 7.5 seconds which is half of 15 7.5 and then what you want to do is you want to set his set the guard behavior of the same unit so um, I'll just get this over here quickly to get his get the reference set unit and I'll move this back in place um, pose ready and so this script should be working so I'll just show it I'll just save and then I'll show it off and then after that we should be on our last item for today which is callouts so I'll just, um, we won't be using our friend the, with the shotgun over there. We can have our own test subject. So you can see he's over here. And you can see he crouched and after five, uh, some time he should go back to standing. Now let's wait for him. Yup. Um, yeah. So I'll quickly shoot that guy. And you can see he also crouched and he's doing the script where he attacks and that all right so now for the last item on today's list we'll be doing call outs so obviously for this you'll need some sort of voice acting um you can use my voice if you want but please be sure to credit it um this is a list of some uh, files i have saved um one of these is by liam the rest are by me so i can just copy all of these fallouts and then I can paste them in here and we'll use them later on so on damage global so every time a unit is damaged we'll get a random number between 1 and 25 1 and the second will be 25 now let me quickly set the scale back. So 1 and 25. And now let me quickly check that I'm recording. And I am. It's been going for 14 minutes, which is good. 25. So if this number is equals to, um, let's say 1. Doesn't really matter. You can make it whatever number you want.
if that is true then we want to get the position of the unit that was damaged and there it is get this fellow's position and then what you want to do is get random from an array and you, are, you might be wondering where that array is well it's right here so this array should be set to sounds if I can find that and there it is and there are five options over here so five different callouts that can be made so let's connect them all up um, feel free to use these sounds I have um, they're meant to be used I believe Liam also has a few um, but do credit me please so this array we get a random element from there and then we play a sound and the sound will be one of these elements randomly chosen um, volume should since this is a custom sound, it's a bit quieter than the game sound, so you'll want to set the volume to 20 and the range to about 75 because it doesn't make sense if you're able to hear a person dying from miles and miles away and the position will be this the position of the unit who was damaged and now we'll be using our test subject for this um, which is unfortunate for him, but is necessary. And you should be able to hear some callouts. So there's our friend. And if we go and... I'm hit. And you heard uh, my voice saying, I'm hit. And you heard me screaming over there. I need a medic. You heard me saying, I need a medic. Okay, we are not going to get all the... Um, different variations but you get the idea so we're reaching the end of the video um, I hope this video has been helpful I hope uh, some of you find these scripts helpful um, this has been the marvelous fantastic awe-inspiring SV Studios YouTube channel I might or might not see you again goodbye